Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video on Deadberg. Now, you can see Xbox 360 PC stuff and everything, and yes, I did look at some of these recently, so. If you're wondering, If you're looking on how to find out how to get the game, I'm going to tell you the way that you do it. So you notice there's specifically only one mod right now. And that's kind of important because the only way to actually get the PC version actually involves contacting the guy right here. So if you need to message the mods, you'll have to go on Reddit and for some reason I have zero karma. Okay. I actually haven't even updated my Reddit account in so long that it still says gaming tenderizer instead of Quackra. So yeah, that should tell you a lot. It still has my icon, but anyway. So you just need to message the mods, in this case the dev, and they'll give you a key, but don't spam them with it. It's actually, I don't want you harassing them. It's actually just kind of a thing that happens and I would not appreciate that. I, I would appreciate you just messaging them if they don't get back to you in a certain amount of time see if they're just looking at other stuff in the meantime or busy and only do that like every so often if you don't have a key for the beta and you can play with your friends on the beta and everything, so if you want to contact the devs for Deadberg stuff, that's how you're going to get the game and everything. And you'll be able to play with me if, if I am on, which honestly, I might do at some point. But... We'll have to see about that. But the best thing to say right now is there is a way to get the Xbox 360 version. I said it's kind of hard because you have to actually know somebody who bought the Xbox 360 version of the game. And then you have to, that person has to trust you with their account, basically on an Xbox 360 where you download the game and everything. And there's a way to play it without even keeping the game, uh, without keeping the account as the main console. And basically what you'll do is you'll add their account to your console and you'll go through their download history. And their download history will have Deadberg. I, I guarantee it. It's just kind of a thing. But having Deadberg on PC is kind of a big deal. Because you have more features than previous versions of Deadberg. Yeah, there's a couple of glitches that you saw, probably, and everything. But I feel Deadberg on PC is a little bit more interesting. Yeah, it still has that limited world and everything, but it's more customizable. And so playing that should show a lot. And on top of it, you have a higher level cap. I think it's like 10 higher than console Deadberg. 
So yeah, more guns, more a little bit more features in general, but I'd say slightly less stable. Like, I can handle most games perfectly fine. It's just kind of strange that it might be a slight optimization issue is the thing. But it also could be my settings were just unoptimized as well. So let's start with why contacting him is the only way. Like, if you start spamming people... Obviously, they're going to ignore you, but I, I, like, there's actually a way to email this dev, I believe, but you basically can either email them or probably message them on Reddit if they still use it, which, from what I could check, um, let's see, they've been on in the past seven days, so yeah, you can probably still contact them them through reddit so yeah so you see all of these people asking about pc uh, uh, steam keys pc beta i want to play and all that basically this is going to be really the important part is that and i plan to do more videos on the other games like i'm not gonna do one on like castle warfare because that one's kind of the least important one of the five that are that made it to pc that i know about and there were hundreds of xbox indie games that did not make it to pc so yeah so deadbird making it this far is more than impressive despite the sad ending of it so yeah it's if you want to play this it's currently not being updated i'll say that much if they come back to it uh, then they come back to it but other than that you're not gonna have any luck so i hope y'all enjoyed this short video uh, for an update to a game that I honestly didn't think you would be able to play anytime soon. And then at one point on my Discord server, I saw somebody mention, hey, I got a code from the dev. I didn't think about it too much then, and then I just kind of saw the comments of how much it was, and then I remember saw another comment mentioning oh i emailed the dev and got a steam key for that so yeah there's two ways technically but they're they're technically the same way just using different methods because it's just messaging the dev through either email or reddit it's that's really all it is so it's technically one but it's using two different sites, basically. So, yeah. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.